From Point to Live here from the St. Teresa Parish Shrine of the Little Flower on her feast day. It's live from last week, episode 145. Let's go! my fellow G-Rockers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, after getting off a busy and stressful six shifts in the span of seven nights, recalling this video from last week where I stressed out my work shoes to the point that they needed some air to breathe, this morning my shoes burst right through their seams once again. Falling apart from being overworked just a little too much. But after my night shift, after not being able to take a post night shift nap, we went to a place for brunch that we were at not too long ago. Going with the wife to see Tito Eddie and Tita Mone, followed by my Tito Rene and Mommy Po to get some quality family time in and enjoy all this dim sum that you guys can see here to celebrate my Lolo Kalis's birthday today. Happy birthday up in heaven, Lolo Kalis! And so, after taking a quick post-night shift nap around 2 p.m. this afternoon, a couple of us are planning to go to the Eglinton Grand in Toronto to check out some vendors for their wedding at the Eglinton Grand open house tonight. So after the fun times at the open house with Geraldine and Timmy, where we had this pretty cool 360 photo booth video taken of all of us, check it out guys. I got home to be able to pass out around 10 p.m. Falling asleep, but still needing to be able to catch up on some rest. Waking up around 6 a.m. to do last week's Live From Last Week video editing way before the sunrise. But anyways, moving on to today, to where we have a quick birthday greeting to one of the wife's co-workers, who I'm remembering going to a Blue Jays game with last season. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Emily. Happy birthday, Em. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends, who I'm remembering hanging out with a lot during our freshman year in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Shay. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, being back at Woodbine Beach for the first time since this Live From Last Week episode, we're here to meet up my cousin Jonas along with our beach volleyball team for this summer to play where the stakes are high in the beach volleyball playoffs.
understand what great times it was playing with this beach volleyball team. Successfully winning the beach volleyball championship of the Ashbridges Bay Sixes co-ed recreational playoffs. Where instead of trophies, we won these pretty cool beach volleyball championship hoodies. We also had the opportunity to take a team photo and also got team captain Kayla this surprise to celebrate the occasion. Kayla, as team captain, I'd like to present you no way. this one. No way. All right, pop it open so that we can celebrate. It's almost like you knew we were going to win. <laughs> <laughs> to big tips. Yo, <laughs> Allie, get out of the way. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> it's like New Year. It is. One, you guys are joining. This is the best September League ever. Oh my God! Like four years. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. As well, in the middle of our matches, I was actually able to run into a couple of my beach volleyball friends that I haven't seen in years. Yo, while playing beach volleyball today, guess who I ran into? Newton and Ken. Woo! Play wind ball. Yeah, wind ball. Yeah, man. It was great running into you guys, Newton and Ken. But I'm really sorry I had to jet and couldn't properly say goodbye to you guys. Since, of course, I was in the middle of a championship game. Anyways, when I got home, I realized that earlier I had lost my motorcycle keys sometime in the past 36 hours, which had me worried, resulting in a half decent sleep last night. So, as you guys can see, here, I woke up pretty early this morning and started to look everywhere around the condo, turning over cushions and doing everything that I could to try to remember where I last left my keys. And after thinking about the TV show, The First 48, where if something or someone goes missing, you have approximately 48 hours to locate clues in order to find this person or thing before chances of finding it significantly drop, this morning, I really had no time to waste. But after driving the wife to her day shift this morning, I ended up searching the mini and may have just found something. And I'll give you guys one more look to see if you guys have found what I had found. While getting a different perspective sitting in the passenger seat, this is what happened. Who's seen it all? He has to wear gloves. At one time, in an altercation with uh, with a guy who got pissed. Yeah, I found it. I found my motorcycle key. Yeah, <laughs> Woo! Crisis averted. <laughs> and to continue on with some more fun and happy news, we got a birthday shout out to one of my titos in the Philippines, who I know is a big Real Madrid fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Father Favi. Happy birthday, Father Favi. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who we used to joke around with from being from Narnia. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my Wysik friends who I remember last seeing at her book signing up in Newmarket. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nikki. Happy birthday, Nikki. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends from Michigan who visited us in Toronto quite a while ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Anthony. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on to my activities of the day, going to a place where I've been to before, printing hard copies of photos, I got some things ready this afternoon to make my monthly visit to my Lola. Hey Lola, it's JJ, just doing my monthly visit to you. And recalling from a previous episode, visiting the nearby Value Village to find some treasures, such as this photo frame that I plan to use at Lola's site the next time I visit her. That one and only family picture frame. I have finally brought it to you here and we're gonna clean up your site a little bit.
Okay, Lala, there you have it. Hope that you enjoy your new renovated site. That's all nice and freshly cleaned. And I'm hoping that you'll continue to pray for us, look over us, and continue to guide us in our everyday lives. Bye for now, Lala. Anyways, just chilling at the moment before I go back downtown to pick up the wife after her day shift. I have further plans tonight to play with an indoor volleyball team of whom you guys know I've played with before, led by their captain, our dear friend, Syra. So after that fun time playing on Syrah's indoor volleyball team, with this highlight of the ideal perfect set from her to me. Is that it? I was able to get in a little bit of rest, sleeping for about six hours before I got on with my day. Going back to Lola's site to reinforce that display that I bought, after recalling that it actually rained last night. Hey Lola, it's JJ once again, coming back to visit the day after I visited you yesterday to check out the new boxed frame that I got you. And I'm here the day after it rained to see if I can, well, kind of waterproof that frame. But moving on, today I just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made going to that 2011 World Youth Day trip back in Europe. This birthday shout out goes out to you Nikki. Happy birthday Nikki. I'm hoping that all your friends and family members at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But anyways, at this very moment, I'm off to the Rogers Center to catch tonight's Blue Jays game to reunite with somebody that I haven't seen in quite a while. The one, the only, my buddy, Robert. Wow guys, some great memories were definitely made from last night's Blue Jays game with Robert. From first getting these Blue Jays hoodie giveaways. Thank you. Yeah, hoodie. Let's go. How's it look? <laughs> to getting several reactions of us to the Blue Jays scoring several times during the game. To pretending to reenact a Blue Jays home run reaction of which I forgot to hit the record button for. Let's pretend they hit a home run. <laughs> To getting our raw reactions on film when Cabin Biggio hit this inside the park home run on a fielding error by the center fielder of the Rays. We were 
also able to send our regards to a former co-worker who wasn't able to catch this game with us. Yo, Sid, get well soon. We'll have a beer for you. Cheers. Feel better. That one's for you, Sid. But yeah, recalling the Presto card that I used to help insulate Lola's display box yesterday. Well, guys, I was having such a good time last night that unfortunately, I lost that exact Presto card. But speaking of good times with that game last night, hoping that the Blue Jays will make it further in this year's playoffs, guess who just secured their pair of tickets to one of the ALDS games for the Blue Jays in October. And also in other happy news today, we got a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends from my childhood. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Francis. Happy birthday, Francis. We've also got birthday shout outs to a childhood friend who I'm remembering competing against in the Knights of Columbus free throw championships when we were younger. This birthday greeting goes out to you Bronson. Happy birthday Bronson. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, anyways, if you guys can tell tonight, I'm riding around with my orange jacket in honor of National Truth and Reconciliation Day today for going to an event that was planned by one of the Filipino groups of whom I went to their summer picnic as you guys can remember here being currently in the Pickering area to attend the 2023 Haniwai Dinner and Dance. First of all, I just want to welcome y'all to the month of October. Happy October, guys! But yeah, after another successful event put on by the Association of the Haniwai Nuns of Ontario, where I went to the dance floor to be led by the line dancing instructors there, not knowing that once they left the dance floor, all the other dancers were looking at me as if I was a dance instructor in both a dance and song that I did not know, might I add. I honestly had a fun time last night. Anyways, on to today, where I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends that I know from Rob's group. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Grace. Happy birthday, Grace. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my friends in Vancouver, who I know through my other YSIC friend, Robert. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tannis. Happy birthday, Tannis. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my university friends out there who you guys know I visited in Ottawa in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Madeline. Happy birthday, Madeline. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, on to the events of today where I went to the St. Teresa Parish Shrine of the Little Flower for Sunday morning Catholic Mass. On the day of her feast day, October 1st, where they gave out these flowers slash roses in honor of our patron saint. As well, this afternoon, just before I went on this nice little beautiful evening walk with this beautiful Toronto sunset to the west in the background, I caught the last Blue Jays game on TV of the regular season. Where after the game, they were able to celebrate the fact that they clinched a spot in the 2023 MLB playoffs of which I'm really excited to see my boys represent Toronto in the postseason later on this week. So last night when I got home on TV there was a Blue Jays in 30 episode which kind of looked familiar. 
it was actually the game that I went to with my cousin Lou that was on Mother's Day. And after watching a couple of plays, including this game-winning walk-off hit by Danny Jansen, I recalled making a quick cameo on TV with my cousin that you guys can see here in the replay in the background. But anyways, on to today, remembering the last time that the wife got her nails done. She showed off to me her most recent nail style, of which she's going to take with her on her trip going to Egypt next week with the sister-in-law. Also, recalling how I told you guys earlier on the week that my work shoes are pretty much done. This morning, my shoes burst right through their seams once again, falling apart from being overworked just a little too much. Well, I'm planning to use my DC skate shoes that I use every day going in tonight for my first shift since last Monday, replacing my worn out work shoes. But before I do that, I have a quick birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made while I was in university at the Ryerson Chaplaincy. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. We've also got a birthday greeting to a gentleman that I know, who I know through my childhood friend, Candice. This birthday shout out goes out to you, James. Happy birthday, James. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my buddies of mine who is an inspiration doing his triathlon training on Facebook. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jerome. Happy birthday, Jerome. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, stay safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And well, with that guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.